control the motor's flexing a little bit. All right, let's get going a little. What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are building a mount for any foot controlled trolling motor to go on any boat, basically. So if you wanna detach it and attach it, you certainly can, so it's gonna have its own little mount. And I've got these little clamps here. I got this off of Amazon and it's built for like desk clamps for lights that are kind of overhanging. So if you wanted to put one on the side of a John boat, off the back, just about anywhere with a foot control trolling motor, we're gonna make a little mount off of this thing and another one that's gonna be just similar to any tiller mount or any other one that you has the two clamps on it. But the, the trolling motor that we're going with that we're gonna be making this for is one with spot lock. So I could put this on my little Pelican Bass Raider. I can put it on the John boat. I could put it just about anywhere I want to. Even the kayak, if I had a kayak mount for one of these regular trolling motors, I could definitely do that. But I've got a little plate and I've got some aluminum and some other stuff, but there's two of these clamps. I've got two of them here. So, we are gonna be taking these, cutting up some metal, and seeing what we can put together to put on the, my Pelican Bass Raider or the back of this John boat so we have spot lock capabilities for crappie fishing out of little bitty tiny boats or even kayaks, which is gonna be kinda cool. So, this mount on the top, and I'm ready to get to cutting. All right, one thing that we're gonna have to do with these two mounts is we're gonna have to put them similarly to the amount of distance that this other trolling motor is. So if you see that down there below it, let's see how wide that is. That is, mm, oh, let's make it about four and a half inches from one to the other. So, Basically four and a half inches is what it's gonna be. So we'll just make it straight off of here. We'll make it easy. I'm not gonna angle it or anything else. It's gonna be straight off the front. seven inches yeah I'll just make it seven inches right there so now to make this pocket and without a welder or anything we're gonna rivet all this together so these are inch and a half pieces so I'm gonna put one at an inch and a quarter so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take these 1 16th pieces and put them right there on that corner and I'm going to rivet through here and then put the other piece on the front side and rivet through there is basically our box so if we put this thing down here we should be able to mount it however we like now we could put it just like this and mount it to where it's right there on it I'm thinking that's probably how I'm gonna do it and then I could put my top on here and I think it'll be just fine, just like that. Now we have our piece. Yes, I like it.
thinking about putting another piece of aluminum across here and tying it right into this one and seeing if that helps with the bracing. The only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to slice down these sides right here because I'm kind of afraid it's not going to bottom out enough right there. So I need to adjust that. Alright, here's the bottom of our trolling motor and here's the mount. So when we mount this thing to the front of the boat, we can put it just like this and it will sit in there just like that. All we got to do is put the pin right through there and this thing's going to be awesome. Alright guys, this is what it looks like mounted on my Pelican Bass Raider. This thing looks awesome. I've just mounted it up. I've got the two clamps right in there. I've got it pinned so it's not going anywhere and if I were to raise it up and just kind of shake it it's not really shaking that much I mean this is a plastic boat so it's got some flex but my goodness that is not bad at all for that so this thing is gonna work awesome for a pelican bass raider with a, oh I believe that's what a 70 80 thrust so this thing is gonna get it well guys, that's the build in its entirety and how I did it. I got the clamps from Amazon. I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks for both of those. And then the angle I got from Home Depot, the angle aluminum. And then just getting riveting materials, a drill, grinder, and basically going to cutting and just putting everything together. It's really not that bad. Some stainless screws. There are some little things that I could maybe do to tweak it, but I think this thing is pretty stout. It doesn't look too bad either. And I could put it on my John boat. I can swap it out and of course this can actually go with this mount and it can disconnect and I can even get another plate for this one for other foot controls so it could go on this plate if I wanted to. So I've got a 101 thrust trolling motor I could throw in here but 24 volt for right now is perfect for this thing with spot lock and go crappie fishing. I don't know there's all kinds of things. I hope this helped you guys out if you're trying to figure out how to put a foot control with a clamp just about on any boat and be able to remove it whenever you want but thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one